Good morning, Asia. Fellow privateers, welcome to the Asian preview, the North American wrap. From your friends here at Privateer FX, it was a uh, cross yen uh, equity somewhat correlated day, which we haven't seen in a really long time. But there were some trades to be made intraday uh, with that correlation. Stocks came under some heavy selling with, uh, uh, I guess you could attribute to some of the, the Trump tweets going after Amazon, uh, threatening Mexico about pulling out of NAFTA if they don't do something about the illegal immigrants coming over the border. He kind of went on a, you know, his typical weekend tirade and, uh, that sent tech shares lower, but we'll, why don't we start out with the currencies here, then I'll, we'll go pop over to some of the equity indices. Um, <clears throat> these are daily. We'll look at bearish engulfing, and then some went down, test these old lows. This is CAD yen. Uh, there was a little bit of news right at the end of the day, Trump backtracking and saying that he'd like to get the NAFTA situation sorted out the next two weeks and uh, dollar canada came off the highs and dollar mex actually sold off a bit as well um but as far as the yen crosses here's a here's another bearish engulfing uh in euro yen made a new high closed down here off its lows with a late day you know i don't know half almost a percent rally in uh equities here's sterling yen bearish engulfing look at the low that's cute 148.43, that is the 200-day moving average, <clears throat> and we've, uh, you know, we did close below that back in, at the end of February, and then uh, kind of messed around, closed above it, but we're, we're, we're kind of pinned here in between the 100-day and the 200-day. Those look like the, the good inflection points for me going forward, so we've got a daily close under here. I'll stay bearish if not i'm still tr selling rallies kiwi yen not quite the bearish engulfing dollar yen closed off its lows third red bar after that powerful move up last week uh, that failed at 107 and now we're back down to this 105 uh, 80 area it got down to as low as 105 67 i believe it was low so it looks like we're kind of retracing this uh this rally for from last week. Um, the euro dollar tried to was bearish engulfing at one point, but we didn't close below um, the previous day's low. But we did, we did, uh, we did. We were below their intraday. Here's a little point here. Let's go to the 240 because that's kind of a good looking level all of a sudden. Um, here we are, the recent FIB swing. We tested, breached this three quarter FIB, but we haven't really been able to close below it with any sort of uh, real passion. But here, here's some 240 lows right here. Draw the line. This checkered line, we have one here. This looks like kind of a, a decent pivot point for us going forward. So we'll watch that. No strong opinion. We do have the Eurozone CPI coming out in a couple of days, um, which could actually uh, could actually move it. You know, if we got we saw a weak one, um, it could get interesting. Let's go back to Euro Yen. Let's just go on the 240 here. Let's draw the Fib and see where we are and. Uh, as far as the uh, recent FIB swing. Tested the two thirds, just breached it briefly. You know, to me, it looks like we want to go down to this area, this three quarter, 129.67. Um, let's pop over to, let's pop over to uh, our S&Ps. We'll get to a daily. This is all I heard about on the drive home from work um, on Bloomberg News, Bloomberg Radio. First daily close under the 200-day since back in.
pre-Trump election. Actually, even before that, prior to that, way back. We haven't been below the 200 days since June of 2016. Again, this is the daily chart here. So the S&Ps, if you look and see where this closed today at 25.83, so just below the 200-day, which came in around 88, um, we tested it, did not tested it twice back in the February, early February fixed implosion, but we could not even come close to um, closing below it. So the prior low daily close is 25.97. Market is, uh, is going to be, that'll be an area to sell. But we did get a new low daily close for this whole move, including the VIX implosion, and we closed under the 200-day. Sentiment is going to drop considerably, I would imagine. <clears throat> I haven't looked at the update yet for the daily sentiment, but uh, it should be, I, I would imagine, it's going to be somewhere around 10, which is similar to where it was um, last week when we when we sold off. Um, <clears throat> As far as FIBOs, this big swing, the market seems to be following. We pierced it in early February, 2555. Uh, got down to 2532, but I think this is a swing it's trying to trying to follow, which would give us the next real support if we do continue selling off down to 2453. I'm a little bit wary. This was an aggressive sell-off today. People, the financial media especially getting a little bit overly uh, excited about the 200-day moving average. It's a barely closed below it. I would call it almost a hold, and you know how the turnaround Tuesdays go. Wouldn't be at all surprised if we rally back up. Uh, the NASDAQ, not looking pretty with all the tech bashing that's been going on, and you know the Tesla, and, and then uh, Trump bashing Amazon. Um, this has got some more room. I could see this underperforming. 6280 is the 200 day moving average. Again, we haven't been below that since, you know, it was back in uh, the same time, like June 2016. So I would imagine you get a little bounce from there. That should hold first time. Um, if not, I suspect we, and again, this is the NASDAQ 100. So. You know, a bunch of the FANG stocks are in there. Um, let's take a look at the 10-year yields. 10-year yields took out last week's low by a couple ticks today. We did bounce a little bit late day by a couple ticks, but this has got a lot of the technicians have targets around this 260, 265, so I don't see why we can't go down there before we uh, see another rally in yields. Uh, VIX was up 18% today. <clears throat> if you take a look at the high-flying tech stocks, you can see the damage done. Facebook, not so bad. Amazon down 5%. Apple basically unchanged. Netflix down 5 Google down 2 NVIDIA, Chipmaker down 45 And Tesla, about $10 off its lows of the day. Um, we'll be looking to resell Tesla uh, anywhere back up near these highs. It's 270 to 277, maybe fill that gap. Um, this struggled going down today while the rest of the tech sector was getting smashed. A lot of the bad news seems to be in the price short term. So um, I've covered some of my shorts here this morning, which turned out to you know be pretty pretty timely because um, it was outperforming the rest of the the rest of the tech uh, you know Nasdaq names. Got the RBA tonight, not expecting anything. Uh, some data coming up. It's more, you know, kind of mid to late week uh, with the UCPI, and we have the jobs number at ADP. ADP on Wednesday, jobs number on uh, on Friday. So market will be paying close attention to that wage data once again for the non-farm payroll day. That should do it. Uh, Easter Monday is now officially over. Have a great Tuesday. You'll hear from us on the... Oh, actually, no, you may not hear from us. Uh, we're still, uh, there's still some holidays being uh, celebrated in uh, for the rest of our team. So um, keep an eye on the Twitter. I'll be sending some tweets out if there's any uh, groundbreaking news, and uh, you'll hear.
hear from you again tomorrow. All the best. Cheers.